Hey class, here's a short video to go review some of the blues material we've probably already gone over in class and then to get you set up for doing your minor blues project. Okay, in class we talked about how the blues uh, began as a storytelling form and that it's split into three phrases. The first phrase is primarily the one chord. Of course, there's many variations, but these are, these are generalizations. So that's phrase one. Uh, phrase two goes to a different place. It goes to the four chord and then back to the one chord. And then phrase three is the most complex. This is the climax of the form. And this is where uh, we finally go to the five chord or some kind of two five or cadence to the five chord. In the simple form, it's five, four, one, five. In the more uh, elaborate form, it's two, five, and then one, four, one, five. There's many other variations. The one I'm just going to play right now is just the most basic one here. So just to remind you what it's like, you might want to sing along going like one, seven, and then one, seven, and then four, seven, as I'm doing the song. Here it goes. We'll start with a little turnaround. One, seven. turnaround section you might have a lot of variety of different turnarounds things like or there's a million of them and they're all variations on these chords or more elaborate versions of these chords okay so that's a reminder of the basic major blues structure okay then we get to the minor blues structure which is similar but we have Obviously more minor chords, we have one minor instead of one dominant seventh, we have four minor. And then in the turnaround we have a similar thing, but we have four minor and one minor there. So here's, the, I'll play the basic version of this. One, two, three, four. Now we move on to uh, what we did in class where you had to complete a blues but in a, in, a, in a particular key. I was playing in E just then, but this is in the key of A. So you would write in all those chords in the key of A. We already went over that in class, I believe. And then now we get to a minor blues, and we're actually going to do it um, in the key of F because we're about to look at a song that's in the key of F. So you fill in all those chords in the key of F, and we'll check that in a second. If you haven't already done that, fill those in. Pause the video and fill all those chords in in the key of F minor. Okay, now we get to uh, blues melody writing concepts. And because it's structured like a story, it's basically structured like an AAB form of a story. So you have a statement, then you have exactly the same statement again, AA, or a very similar uh, a variation on the first statement. And then you have a completely different statement um, in B, or a wrap-up statement. So um, this is a real blues from Bessie Smith, uh, which I played in class, and uh, this is recorded back in the 1920s or something like that. So it's very uh, close to the time that the blues started to emerge as a form. So um, you can, um, I'll listen to that on a separate post on the site. I'm just going to go through it right now, but you can see that it has a, an A. Uh, with lyrics uh, there, stand in my bed with my face turned towards the wall, and then very similar, laying in my bed with the face turned towards the wall. So that's two, you know, that's A1, A2, A, A and then I count these blues so that I could say them all. So that's the B, so that's the wrap-up. Okay, and notice that there's a lot of use of the blues scale here. So um, let's take a minute to review what the blues scale is. The, the blues scale is based on the minor pentatonic, so you have to know what the minor pentatonic is. So I will now play it in the key of A. So that's one flat three four five flat seven one A C D E G A, and of course it's a minor scale missing scale degrees two and flat six. That's what a minor pentatonic scale is. 
The blues scale just adds a flat fifth note. So in this case, it would be the note E flat. That note right there. All right, so now we have a six note scale. Well, the simplest way to create a blues melody is to come up with a little phrase that's based on those notes. Uh, it could be scale wise, it could jump around a little. Um, and, it, you know, for example, it could be something like, So that was just going right up the scale, coming back, and then um, toggling between the first and the flats three. One flat three four flat five four flat three one flat three one flat three one. Okay, or it could jump. So I jumped up to the fifth and I came down. The point is to create a phrase after which there's a period of pause. Okay. And one way to do that is to write lyrics, to think of lyrics. So I wrote these little lyrics here that I'm sure you can all relate to. I got the Berkeley Blues because it's time to take a test. And then I wrote a melody to fit that. And then I, in my B section, I had a, a response to that statement. Um, so if, now if we look at what I did here, I started, I'm using only the blues scale. I went... my phrase. It uses all the notes from the blue scale um, and it fits the lyrics um, perfectly. I got the Berkeley Blues because it's time to take a test. Okay and now I have a phrase and then I leave my open section which is often called the strum uh, which is a section where you can do instrumental fills or just leave space for the band to be heard. And then I do it again. That's my second A. And then we get to the, uh, and by the way, up to now, I've only used the blue scale. Then we get to the uh, B section, the response, which happens over the last four bars. And this um, does use a note that is not in the blue scale, but it's a note that fits with the chord of the moment. So you have that option. You can, you can, you can jump out of the blue scale and use other notes that would fit the chord of the moment as a chord tone or a tension. And this last phrase is okay, and that's the uh, final phrase there. And then, of course, there's a turnaround. And that's the end of the song. So this is a formula for writing a blues that many thousands of songs use, and this is what you can use when you write your project, okay? So again, using primarily the blues scale, come up with a single phrase, repeat that phrase over, over the second four bars, and then come up with an answering phrase on the last four bars. So here's your minor blues structure that you're going to write over. Um, if you've already written it out in F, you will end up with the same changes as this example song here, Burke's Works. So what does this song do? Well, it uses primarily the blues scale. It has an A, A, B structure. It utilizes some different notes from the blues scale later and emphasizes attention in at least one place. These are all things that you should do in your project. Um, so here's the requirements written right there. So um, here's an example. Here's what that song sounds like. So <laughs> So um, you can see it clearly as an A phrase, an A phrase that's repeated very similar or exactly the same, um, and then a B phrase that's different and wraps everything up. Uh, the other thing, now in order to really appreciate this, you should write out the F blues scale so that you can see that it is in fact using those notes. So how do you write out a blues scale? Well, you start with the minor pentatonic and then you add that extra note. So why don't you just pause the video for a minute, um, write out the F minor key signature, there it is, four flats. Write out the F minor pentatonic, add in that flat five note, and write in all the note names, and then return to the video and compare it to this melody.
Okay, so we're back. So here's an F minor scale. You can see there's the F minor key signature, relative minor to A flat major, same key signature. And this is just a straight natural minor scale. Okay, now for the pentatonic, to get the minor pentatonic, we have to remove scale degree 2 and scale degree 6, flat 6. Now we have a minor pentatonic. Um, now to get the blue scale we have to add in a flat 5 scale degree so it will still be a 5 but we will make it a flat 5 okay and now we have a blue scale okay okay that's our blue scale now if you go back to the song that we were looking at you can see uh, that in this song it's the same notes now in this song they wrote out c flat as a b b natural is the same note you can see there it is a b natural going to a b flat so that's the that's the blue scale there um and um <clears throat> that's the only accidental just the way this is the only accidental here so you could rewrite that as a b natural if you like but it's really a flat five and that's where that melody comes from and that's how it sounds uh so bluesy so again.